All right, here is that limiting an excess reactant problem that we were talking about today in class for some of the breakout groups. Here's an official video that hopefully is clearer than me holding up my whiteboard to the screen. So here's my balanced chemical reaction. And I started with 1.20 grams of hydrogen and 7.45 grams of carbon monoxide. Step one, I've got to figure out which one is my limiting reactant how much or which one is going to limit the amount of product I make. So I'm going to start with my 1.20 grams of hydrogen. I'm going to go grams of hydrogen to moles of hydrogen. And I know that one mole of hydrogen gas, looking on my periodic table, is 2 grams. And that according to my balanced chemical equation, there's one methanol to every two hydrogen gases. And I'm going to stop right there because whichever one makes the least number of moles is my limiting. I don't have to go any further and go to grams. I could, but it's just extra. Then I'm going to go 7.45 grams of CO and times that by one mole is going to be uh, 12 plus 16 is 28 grams. Looking at my periodic, pretend I'm looking at my periodic table. And there's one methanol to every, one methanol to every one mole of carbon monoxide. So I stop right there and do some configuring. And I find out that I will have 0 0.30 moles of the hydrogen excuse me, no, of the methanol. And I'm going to have here 0 0.26 moles of the methanol made with the carbon monoxide. So my limiting reactant in this case is carbon monoxide because it will limit the amount of methanol I can make. So I take that amount of methanol, the 0 0.26 moles of methanol, and then I'm going to go to grams with that. So put it over 1, times that by 1 mole, get the molar mass of methanol, 12 plus 3 is 15, 15 plus 1 is 16, 16 plus 16 is 32 grams, or uh, why am I doing this backwards? Hope you forgive me, sorry. 32 grams in one mole. So put moles on the numerator here, moles in the denominator, so moles cancel, and I will find I get with uh, two sig or three sig figs is what I should have rounded to, 8.32 grams of methanol. That's the first part of the problem, finding the which one is the limiting reactant, which is carbon monoxide, and how much product you're going to make, and that's going to be 8.32 grams of methanol. So I'm going to give you a second here to take some notes on that, and then I'm going to erase some of it in order to do the uh, excess reagent. Okay, here we go to get the excess reagent. So I went all the way back and I got my moles of methanol, my moles of methanol that I created. And I'm going to convert that back to moles of my excess reagent, my excess reagent there being my hydrogen gas. So, turn that back over a one. There are two moles of hydrogen gas to every one mole of methanol. And so I used up to make my methanol 0 0.52 moles of hydrogen gas. So that's how much I used up. Now I got to figure out how much I started with. So to figure out how much I started with, I go back and I say um, 1.20 grams of hydrogen times that by 
uh, one mole being two grams. And I started with 0 0.60 moles of hydrogen. So this is going to be used. This is going to be start. So started with 0.6, ended with 0.52. And so I'm going to figure out what was left over. So 0 0.60 start minus 0 0.52 used equals 0 0.08 left over. I am not doing a good job with sig figs on this. I just want to show you the concept. So that's how many moles of H2 that are left over. So I take that moles of H2 times that by 2 grams of hydrogen in every one mole and I get 0 0.16 grams of hydrogen gas. Now just to let you know here, I, I did a horrible job with sig figs, but also the uh, answer sheet said 1.26 so I think there was a typo there, so it's 1.6. So there's limiting an excess reactant problem, uh, formalized a little bit more. If you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. See you later.